with significantly enhanced support for children with special needs in schools and in our IHLs. We continue to work closely with BWO-run special education schools to improve their curriculum and enhance our support to them. Many of us, including MOSC men and myself, have visited many of these schools, and they are doing very good work. I've met many students. I've also met many students with dyslexia and know of many successful adults who had dyslexia. With intervention, they can learn to overcome difficulties and build a good foundation in literacy. Our pilot programs have been very helpful for children with dyslexia. From this year, we will expand school-based dyslexia remediation to 20 more schools, making a total of 62 such schools spread across the island. Before I go on, let me share a reflection on Singaporeans with special needs. I have the privilege of working with Ms. Chia Yong Yong, President of the Society for the Fiscally Disabled, in our Singapore Conversation Committee, and now with Dr. Yeo Ziling, Research Scientist at ASTAR in our Singapore 50 Committee. Yong Yong has a muscular disorder, and Ziling lost her sight at the age of four. They sh show great tenacity and have come a long way. They are cheerful and optimistic. They embody that can-do spirit. They made a success of their own lives and go on to contribute to others. I think members would have read in the papers during, when the A-level results were released of Miss Amanda Chong, a pioneer JC student who suffered glaucoma at the age of three and lost her vision at the end of her junior college one year. Her studies suffered, especially in economics and mathematics, which are graphics heavy. Despite that, she went on to do extremely well at her A-levels. I'm not lauding her just for her grades, but rather for her remarkable spirit. As one of our educators shared with me, and I quote, while the world became pitch dark to her, the darkness did not consume her. Instead, she continued to see beauty in her life and brought light, hope and inspiration to the people around her." Unquote. It is truly, truly inspiring. Each year, about 1% of our students who enter the ITE, polytechnics or publicly funded universities have some form of special education needs. And I agree with Mr. Nispoa that we must do more to support our children so that needs do not mean limits and that we can bring out their very best so that we have many more Yong Yongs, Zerlings and Amendas. So Ms. Paul would be very happy that, that we will be setting up disability support officers in ITE, all polytechnics and publicly funded universities. A special education needs fund will also be set aside to alleviate the cost of assistive technology devices and support services.